yeah hello guys welcome to another video in today's video i'll be trading on a 40 dollar account and i'll be using a risk reward ratio of one is to five and each trade i'll be risking one dollar one thing you should understand is that anytime especially if you're trading on a small account and you are using a high risk to reward ratio like one is to three one is to four one is to five and one is to whatever number you want to use make sure you use the least amount available for instance, if you're trading a $100 account or anything less than $100 account and you want to use a risk reward ratio of up to 1 is to 5, then I would advise that you at least start with a dollar. Remember, the higher the risk to reward ratio, the lower the win rate. I'll be trading a 1 is to 5 risk to reward ratio. Make sure you watch this video to the end. After the trade, I'll be explaining some of the tricks I do adopt while trading. As you can see, my balance is $40. I'll be risking $1 on each trade and I'll be using a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to 5. As you can see, there's, I've already placed some pending orders already. So let me explain this pending order and how I placed it. So, so if you look closely, you see that uh, this is a 1 minute time frame and this is for like 10 index. If you look closely, this is the level I place my buy stop and this is the level I place my sell stop and this is the level I place my sell stop, stop loss as you can see already. On each of these trades, I risked one dollar. It means that if it breaks out upward and reverses without hitting my take profit level and if you hit my stop loss, I will only lose a dollar. You understand? It's important that you know how to calculate this risk to reward ratio. It will help you a lot. One thing you should understand about this synthetic volatility indices is after the consolidation, there's always a breakout. Remember, there are always a fake breakouts that won't stop you from making profit as long as your risk to reward ratio is good enough. So if you look at this chart, you see that the market is ranging. This is a volatile ranging market. But after this range, I'm expecting a breakout. And one good thing about this is if it breaks out downward, it will trigger my sell stop, a sell trade will initiate. And if it breaks out upwards, it will trigger my buy stop and a buy trade will initiate. So this is the level I place my take profit for the buy stop. So if it hits my take profit, I'm closing with a $5 profit. So let me go check other assets if it meets my entry condition. So I'll come back to this trade later. Okay guys, this is another trade. Uh, this is a volatility 50 index and this is the one minute time frame. So this is the level I placed my buy stop and this is the level I placed my sell stop. I took advantage of this consolidation here. So I'm expecting a breakout after the consolidation. So if it breaks out upwards, you know what will happen. If it breaks out downward, you know what will happen. And the risk reward ratio is one is to five. And this is the take profit for my sell stop. And the buy stop, the take profit is there as you can see so that's it guys so let me go check other asset and see if it meets my entry condition i'll come back to all this trade later okay guys this is another trade and this is where i place my buy stop entry and this is where i place my sell stop entry and this is the sell stop stop loss and this is the buy stop, stop loss and this is a volatile 200 ys index and this is a one minute time frame so I took advantage of this consolidation here. So this consolidation here, I was expecting a breakout. And as you can see, it just broke out downward. So it broke out downward. So I'm already on profit. So uh, that's my take profit level here. Expecting it to hit my take profit level. So once it hit my take profit level, I'm making $5. And I risk $1 for this trade. So I'm using a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 5. So let me still look for other trade opportunities. I'll come back to all this trade later okay guys going back to the trade i placed as you can see the two trades has triggered two is on profit one is still on loss so uh currently as you can see here i'm up by three dollars profit let's see how it goes what i normally do is since i reach one dollar if it gives me a profit of two dollars i'll go and adjust my stop loss to the price i entered the market so let me go check let me show this so as you can see my stop loss now is almost at the level of my entry so if it gets going up i'll keep adjusting my stop loss if it doesn't hit my take profit level and decide to reverse i will not incur any loss 
so going back uh, let me see go look for more trade opportunities i'll come back to this trade later okay guys this is another trade this is my buy stop this is my sell stop and this is the stop loss for both the buy stop and the sell stop as you can see it has already break out upward i took advantage of this consolidation here so some pips above the resistance level of that consolidation the same thing applies to the sell stop some pips below the support level of the consolidation as you can see this is the volatility turn index this is the one minute time frame these are one of the tricks i do use to improve the win rate with this strategy currently it has given me more than uh, two dollars that is double of what i risked which is one dollar so what i normally do in this case is for the buy stop i'm going to move the stop loss from the current level to the point i entered the trade so that way it will improve my win rate even if it reverses i won't have to lose money on this trade that's my take profit there i'll show you the result of all the trades i've entered and do more explanation yeah okay guys i'm back to the trades and here are all the trades i placed there are some important risk management tips you need to understand to help improve your win rate if you're using a risk reward ratio of one is to five so as you can see you notice that some that close on profit this is three dollar fifty five cent this is one dollar thirty eight cent this one close on loss these two trade close on losses and this one closed on two dollar sixty five cent someone might ask ah but you said it's a risk to reward ratio of one is to five and you risk one dollar to gain five dollars let me show you the tricks there remember i'm trading breakout once it breaks out remember i'm risking one dollar so once it doubles the amount i risk which is one dollar i will adjust my stop loss to the level i enter the trade that way if it reverses i will not lose anything but what happened in this first trade is it was almost four dollars so i adjusted my stop loss it reversed as a reverse i hit my stop loss it closed on a profit of three dollar 25 cent that's why it's three dollar 25 cent the same thing applied there it gave me around uh, three dollars plus so i adjusted the stop loss to around uh, one dollar 38 cent so it reversed and hit my stop loss that's why it closed on profit so the same thing applies here he actually gave me about i think uh, four dollar or three dollar plus so i adjusted my stop loss so it reversed and uh, hit my stop loss and i closed on two dollar sixty five cent so this is the normal trick i use if i'm using a risk to reward ratio of one is to five that way it will increase my win rate and i'll end up making profit and remember again another thing you should need to understand is in each asset i place a buy stop and a sell stop remember if it breaks out upward and buy stop closes on profit you have to delete the pending order you place on that asset which is sell stop and if it's a set that breakout and the sell closes on profit go and delete the buy pending order the buy stop pending order you place on the asset so that just it make sure you understand these tricks and tips that way it will improve your win rate and you always make profit at the end of the day from what you can see you notice that uh, i only risk this is one two three four five i only risk five dollars here this five trade each trade i risk one dollar each trade you're seeing i risk one dollar so i only risk five dollars to earn almost five dollars that's the beauty of risk to reward ratio so that's it guys if you have any question drop it on the comment section i had a 40 dollars i started with 40 dollars and as you can see this is 45 dollars already that's it for this video guys for the doubting thomas's this is a real account this is a real account as you can see this is a real account this is a real account so that's just it so talk to you on my next video and if you're new to this channel do consider subscribing you'll learn a lot Forex is not that difficult if you really know what you're doing. If you adopt a good risk management system in all your trades, very important. Talk to you in my next video.